Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing all super well today. For those who are new, my name is Zuzka and this channel is all about fashion, beauty, travel and lifestyle. So if you are interested in any of those topics, please subscribe to my channel. Today's video is a tag video. Shout out goes to Isabel Style. Ciao Isabel. And I really liked her video. It originated in beauty community and it was transferred into luxury community. There are 13 questions to be answered about my luxury handbag collection. If you are interested, keep watching. First of the question is newest bag in my collection. If you have seen my previous Louis Vuitton handbag collection as well as my designer fashion haul, you would know that my newest edition is this Louis Vuitton twist in mini size in Python. Guys, I still haven't taken this bag out, but one even is coming up and I can't wait to take this baby out. Next question is my oldest bag in my collection. Again, if you have watched my Louis Vuitton handbag collection, this was my first luxury handbag that I have purchased. It is the Louis Vuitton Capucine in BB size, in Magnolia color. Love it, guys. I bought it for work purposes and it served the purpose. It fits quite a bit, definitely more than just essentials. I think it's a little bit understated bag from Louis Vuitton. Obviously it is leather, so it is a little bit on the more expensive side, but I think this bag is such a classic bag from the Louis Vuitton collection. Now the leather is amazing, it still looks like brand new, and I love this bag. So that was my oldest handbag. The third question is the most expensive handbag in my collection. As everyone knows, they are the most expensive handbags and yes, even in my collection it is a Hermes Birkin in 30 in this beautiful orange color. As you all know, I am a color lover. I really love this color. The bag is really practical as well. It is in Togo leather, which I really like a little bit of a slouchy look for the Birkin in the size 30. Really like it, enjoyed it especially for work. These days I am not wearing it too often, but very here and there I still need to carry a little bit more. So uh, it is a great bag. It even fits my little laptop. So a great handbag all around. The fourth question is the least expensive handbag in my collection. Since it's about current collection, not all the handbags that I've purchased through my life and I already sold, uh, the least expensive handbag that actually stayed in my collection is this Dolce Gabbana Sicily bag, if I'm not mistaken, and I still love it. Again, a great leather, you can't really destroy this bag either. It's uh, very similar to Louis Vuitton Epi leather. Uh, I really like the print. Look, even the inside is really gorgeous. And uh, when this collection came out, I even bought the matching shoes. Lots of ready to wear in this print because I really like it, obviously, in color, right? <laughs> Great as an everyday bag for work and uh, other purposes because uh, it does fit quite a bit. I bought it through Farfetch website and it was a very good discount on it. So yeah, the price was really, really good on this bag. The next question is my everyday bag. Guys, if you watched uh, some of my videos, you would know by now what's my everyday bag. It goes to Louis Vuitton uh, multi pochette in monogram love this bag saying it again and again because currently for my lifestyle it is the best bag mostly i get dressed casually and i do a lot of motorbike rides and different trips and summer is coming up so definitely there will be more rides more trip and this bag is coming with me the next question is the bag with the best memory attached to it it is the louis vuitton petit mal if you've seen my Louis Vuitton handbag collection, you would know that I really didn't like this handbag when it first came out. However, 
I think a year or a couple years later, I took my dad for a holiday to Italy. We have visited Verona. We went shopping. He accompanied me everywhere, even to Louis Vuitton. They didn't have handbags that I really wanted and I was interested in. And uh, the sales associate showed me this handbag. She explained the whole history about the handbag and the craftsmanship. I still haven't been sold on this, but then I tried it on and we spent that two hours in the store and the sales associate was amazing uh, and very patient. And I shopped a lot, like I bought so many pieces on that day. While I was buying different pieces, I was still carrying this bag and my dad liked it. My dad liked it a lot. After a while, I actually started liking it. I knew at a time that I did not have any handbags that would serve as a clutch. And I thought, well, at least I would have a clutch for evenings or when I go out. I decided to take this bag and I fall in love with the bag later on, especially when I was carrying it and got a lot of compliments. And you know, the way how it can be styled, it's great because it can be carried crossbody. As you know, I bought the monogram thick shoulder strap and it looks great with it as well. And for the evening, as a clutch, I really fall in love with this bag and definitely would not get rid of this bag. The next question, worth the hype? As you all know, currently the Gavanetta handbags are all over social media. I've got in my collection the Bottega Veneta shoulder pouch as well as Bottega Veneta Jody in mini size. The most hyped up bag, I think, from the Bottega was the pouch right at the beginning when they came out. And now I think it's more the cassette, the puffy bags with the chain. For me, they are very, very heavy and I would not wear them. But if you like and if you do not mind heavy handbags, it is nice style. And the craftsmanship of Bottega Veneta handbags is beautiful. It's amazing. I would definitely recommend even the lame skin leather. I am very surprised it's not scratched. It holds very well. And uh, with the Jody I wore it on my holidays, I carry it very often and I'm very surprised. And currently I did another spurge and I got another one of those. So watch my video. The shopping haul is coming up. I would definitely say it is the worst, the hype. They look uh, really fashionable and they are really nice. The next question is not worth the hype. I think every bag is worth the hype if it serves your purpose. So it doesn't matter how much the handbag costs, as long as you use it and you get a lot of use out of it, I think every handbag is worth the hype. And again, it comes down to your lifestyle, to your needs, what you like, what you don't like, and each of us is different. So it is very hard to pinpoint to one handbag, but for me personally, I would have to agree with Isabel's one point on this question. Chanel medium classics prices now skyrocketed so high, and uh, at least in Australia, that I don't think it is worth anymore the hype. I mean, even when you take up the history, when you take up the craftsmanship, everything all together, I don't think it is on the same level as Hermes. And I don't know if they want to get there or what are they trying to do. But definitely with the price increases in Australia, I'm more than happy to have four in my collection and I won't be looking to add any more of the classics medium to my collection because I think the price is just not worth the craftsmanship. Even the, this handbag I had to exchange because it was not 100%. And really, if you take the prices, how can they release a handbag that is not 100% good quality? I don't think it's right. Next question. Favorite bag from favorite brand? Even so, I've got still a lot of negative things to say about the brand. I still love the brand and it is Chanel. And my favorite bag is still this mini Coco from Chanel in caviar in this beautiful pink color. Maybe because I had to wait for this color for a while and I was really particular what color the mini Coco I want. 
maybe that's why it became my favorite bag but i just love the style i think the size is amazing um, even for my frame and love everything about this bag i can't say anything wrong and definitely want to add at least one in different color most used bag come again back to my everyday bag which is Louis Vuitton multi pochette I better don't say anything more because I think you had enough of me craving about this bag it is the best bag in my collection that currently fits the best to my lifestyle love this bag the next question is most underrated bag I think all Bottega Veneta handbags in the intercetto leather are very understated they are so simple there is no logo so unless you know the brand you would not know that it's Bottega Veneta it's really beautiful the craftsmanship is just amazing and for the price point that they are selling it for I think it is still a great handbag I think it is the most underrated bag in my opinion at this time because um, definitely it is worth the money and they are not that expensive so the next question is most nostalgic bag guys have to get back to this Louis Vuitton Petit Mal it is my most nostalgic bag and that's why it will stay in my collection forever because I purchased it with my dad shopping with my dad was amazing um, I love him to bits unfortunately he is no longer well enough to shop with me and I don't think it will change in the future so this will really hold a special place in my heart forever most disappointing one I had to think quite a while about this question but at the moment I do not own any handbag that would be most disappointing since it was disappointing it is not any longer in my collection it was actually going back to my favorite brand right Chanel it was a Chanel bum bag and I will show you the picture here the bum bags came into the style as quickly as they disappear out of the style I would say why it was disappointing I always think that if you buy something expensive it should serve the purpose right and if the designer design a handbag and they know that it will be worn crossbody or on your waist it will be rubbing against your clothes you know that you are wearing the handbag I haven't worn on my waist it was always worn crossbody and I always worn like clothes like like t-shirt or dresses whatever and um, since it was yellow color I still had a color transfer I'm not sure from what right color transfer not just that you, you could see on the edges of the bag that the leather was scratched quite a bit for my liking like I don't like any damage whatsoever on my bags from that point of view it was very disappointing because I thought especially because of the price point they would make handbags that are user friendly whereas this handbag was definitely not one of those it's not just that it came so quickly in and out of style but as well that the leather was not strong enough to hold up the purpose of the bag definitely a disappointing one uh, obviously I lost quite a bit of money when I was selling it and I did not even wear it very often guys that was it from today's video 13 questions answered I hope you enjoyed it also do the tag video and answer all 13 questions because it's a lot of fun i really had an issue with the most disappointing bag so please let me know in the comments below what's your most disappointing bag i would really love to know i mean this community is amazing because we can learn from each other and uh, hear our opinion especially before we splurge so much money on a new handbag or new a luxury item i really hope you enjoyed the video if yes please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel i would love to catch up with you in my next video have a lovely day guys and take care of yourself ciao